hi guys so welcome back to my channel this is a different start of the video as you guys are probably aware today i'm thinking of showing you what i'm packing for a trip we are thinking of taking the kids to the mountains but where we're going they have hot springs gonna be a lot of swimming and it's going to be over 32 degrees weather so that's celsius so i'm thinking of taking you with me and showing you what i'm thinking of packing for this hot weather and makeup and skincare and like another pouch of stuff that i like to take with me so let's get right into the video and show you what i'm um, bringing with me Okay, so here are my pouches. I got this from Amazon. They're transparent and I love transparent so that I can see what I have. Yeah, let's get right through the makeup first and then through the other pouch and show you what I have. Okay, so let's start with the makeup. So this is the pouch. I, of course, have my uh, Super Goop sunscreen. I love this. I'm gonna use this all over my face and I have separate ones to use on my body. And then for brows, I'm going to bring two brow products. One is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer. And this is in the shade Dark Brunette. And of course, I'm going to bring the by Mario Brow Gel. This is the Master Hold one, the clear one. And it, this is waterproof. So that's why I'm bringing it because we're going to be doing a lot of swimming. So I would like to have a waterproof one. I'm still keeping this out because... We are leaving on Wednesday. When I'm filming, this is a Monday. So I want to use them until then. But yeah, here is the pouch. If I remember, I will try link this down below. It is from Amazon. It came with a bigger one, this medium one, and two small ones. So I'm using this one because I don't need much. So let me just walk you through. I also bought these pouches from Amazon, which are separate. Um, I think they came set of six, uh, three whites and three blacks, and I'm using them for brushes. But um, let's go through this pouch and show you first what we have. And then I'm going to show you the brushes. So first things first, I'm going to bring this headband. This is also good for styling because it's a cute headband, it's material, and I like to use this when I apply or remove my makeup to keep my hair out of my face. I'm gonna bring a sponge, this is a Morphe sponge, so um, that's always good to have. I also like to bring a um, pencil sharpener only because I have a, a brown eyeliner that I'm gonna bring. I don't know how much I'm gonna use, but I'd rather have the makeup um, available in case I feel like it. Now let's start complexion first. Now for primer I'm not going to use anything but the Super Goop sunscreen and I'm going to bring these two right here. This is the Maybelline Instant H Rewind Perfector 4-in-1. I'm wearing this today. This is so natural and so beautiful and I want to bring this on those days when we go to the uh, beach to the water and I'm also going to bring this Cold Beauty. This is a very lasting liquid foundation. This is an eight hour. I don't think it's waterproof but I think I'm going to bring this in case I want that extra coverage for the evening and they're very easy to travel with. This is a squeezy tube. This is also very light so I'm going to bring both for my complexion. I don't know if I said this is in the shade 00 Fair Light and this this is in the shade vanilla c3 for concealer i'm gonna bring this covergirl concealer i love that it has a sponge applicator right away so i don't have to pack a special brush for concealer and this is the covergirl simply ageless ageless instant fix this is in the shade i don't know it's probably fair or light but the funny thing with this one it doesn't have a shade on the container if someone knows and i'm missing it somehow let me know but i can't seem to find it so it's a very light concealer oh i forgot to mention that i have this estee lauder 
Revitalizing Supreme Plus. And this is kind of like a very hydrating cream. And I'm going to be using this for probably before applying makeup instead of a primer. But it's it's just a moisturizer. And it's like, it's just for extra moisturizing my face because it's very dry. So that's the one that I'm replacing the um, primer with. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to bring two. I'm thinking of bringing this Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. And this is in the shade medium dark. And also this NARS mini bronzer in case I want to use it and set this one. But most likely I'll be using this one because we'll be doing a lot of swimming. And I don't think I need a powder. I want to look more natural. But just in case I'm bringing this powder as well. This is the orgasm. No, this is the Laguna one. And you can see how beautiful this are. They're very hard to see. So there's the Laguna one, and this is the makeup. This is the makeup by Mario one. So pretty. I love this one. You can use it on its own, or you can use it on top of the foundation or um, tinted serum, whatever you're wearing. For blush, again, I have two. I'm bringing a cream and a powder. I'm trying to bring as small packaging as possible. Again, we're only going for four days. No, five days. Yeah, four, four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, so I'm bringing this Tower 28 in the shade Power Hour. And the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. This is a powder blush in the shade Pink Rose. Again, most likely I'll probably be using this one only and not this one, but just in case I want to top this one with a powder for long lasting for evening, I'm bringing a powder one, but most likely I'm probably going to use cream ones only. I'm also bringing this NARS Matte Concealer in the shade Light 1. I love to use this one um, as a spot concealer or as a brightening one under the eye or as a um, eye primer for before you apply the um, eyeshadow but this is a good to use kind of you dot all over the face and blend it and it also provides enough coverage like a foundation so this has a multitude of uh, ways of using it so that's why i'm bringing it now, this is the eyeliner I was talking about that will require sharpening. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio, and this is in the shade Bold Brown. So this is the darker brown, and this is very easy to use. As you can see, how easy it just glided on my skin. And um, this is good for the waterline or create a smoky look which probably i'm going to use it mostly for waterline to provide a little bit of dimension to the eye for eyeshadow palette i think i'm going to use this one the going coconuts palette i was going to bring a huda not a huda but a natasha denona palette but i'm bringing this because this also has a mirror so i can use this mirror when i get ready and it has this nice neutral shades. Most likely I'm going to stick with this four shades or oh, five for darkening. But I don't know if I'm going to use any shimmers. It's just to give the eye a little bit of color. And I didn't want to bring the Natasha Denona because I didn't want to break it by accident. So I think this is perfect for the amount of shadows that I need. Probably won't use much, but just to have something in case. For mascara, I'm going to bring the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is my favorite. It is not waterproof, but it's enough um, for me to use probably evening or if we go out somewhere. So this is the only reason I'm bringing this one. For lips, I'm bringing a lip oil. And this is the TFB, which is Trust Fund Beauty Better Than Therapy Lip Oil. Now this I got in a boxy charm and I really love it. It's very hydrating. And for lipstick, I'm bringing a Biki Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Acceptance. It is a very beautiful lipstick. And I also have some um, lip glosses in my purse. But this is a nice pink rosy lipstick. It gives you a little bit of pop of color, so I thought I should bring it. It's very hydrating as well. It's magnetic, so it won't be damaged in the packaging. So these are my lip products. 
And I'm also bringing a um, brush. I guess this can go in with the others, but I'm I'm using it with my uh, brow product in here. So this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B eyebrow brush. And last product in here is my perfume. This is the smallest one I have. I really love it. This is by Alice Brooklyn Myth or the Parfum. And I love the one, this the one, this one smells. You can see that there's like barely anything in here. And this is the one that fits best in this pouch. And four brushes. Now here are the brushes. Look how pretty they look. Aren't they pretty? I'm bringing, now I'm gonna go through all of them. I'm gonna be very quick. So I'm bringing this one for the eyes and they're just some fluffy brushes, flat, smaller ones from up for underneath, um, for smudging, that's all I need. I don't even know I'm gonna use that much. And for complexion, I have this for foundation, this for uh, cream blush, this is for the Makeup by Mario Cream Bronzer, and this is for any type of powder, blush, or bronzer. Let's put them back. And this is complete. We can close it up. Oh, we can put this one in here as well. And you see how nice everything fits here perfectly, see-through. You can see absolutely everything in here. Perfect. Now let's move on to this and I want to show you this what I like to pack besides makeup. Okay so this is the bigger pouch again it comes with a handle here. In this bigger pouch again I have one of these smaller pouches so let me show you what I have in here first. So I packed some cotton pads for makeup remover. I also packed an e.l.f. makeup remover um, it's made out of like cotton material I believe and this is easy to use in case I run out of those pads and I also packed a lip balm this is the again I got this in a boxy charm and this is the Seraphine Botanicals Apple Lip Balm so good for your lips I've used this me and the kids non-stop when we went to Vegas and look how much I still have left this is a new cream I got. It's baby cream. It's by um, Mastella and it has, this is pretty expensive actually from Amazon. Expensive only because it only has 40 milliliters, but this was $14 Canadians. I think 14 or 16, 14 I think it was. And it's quite small. It's good for the face and body. I only use it for the face. It's so hydrating. A little bit goes a long way because this one has some good, in, like avocado oil in good ingredients. And this is made in France. And this is if you have dry skin. So not if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin. So this is what I have in this pouch. Okay, so let me walk you through here. So what I packed is a... Um, this is one of my favorite deodorants. I like the fa ones, but it's hard to find here in um, Canada. They're usually European, but the Nivea one, they're easy to find. And I love that it has a lock. You spray it and then you lock so that it doesn't spray inside your luggage or your makeup bag. So this is the one that I have in, in the, not shade, in the smell water lily. It's very nice. Now for makeup remover, I'm using this Lancome by Facial Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. So this is really good to remove your eye makeup, but I also use it kind of all over the face. This is by Lancome. And I like to have a brush. This is a wet brush, but you can use it on dry hair. So it's perfect for um, me and my daughter. I like to use uh, one of these um, headbands one of these headbands when I remove my makeup and keep my hair out of my face especially when I wash my face so I'm using those I have one of this pack that has this type of like for nail cutting or for emergency if you need to use scissors or anything like that I always carry one of this with me 
I also have the my favorite, the Nivea Soft Re Refreshing Soft Moisturizing Cream. I have a mini one, like a mini one. It's a smaller one. It still has 192 grams, but they also make bigger ones. So this is really good. I really love this one. I got this in Vegas because I forgot my big one at home. So I bought one from Vegas there from Walmart. And I definitely recommend this. It's very hydrating. And um, I love to use this day and night. So this is going to be my moisturizer. I don't need to bring a ton with me. I need to just have moisturizing. And then, of course, I don't know if you guys know about this. This is the, the brown silk the brown silk appeal is like an epilator so I'm bringing this tool with me and also always good to have a this is a shaver with an extra extra top that you can change it with and an, another shaver this way that doesn't need the top to be changed so this too I always have in here I barely use them but you know they're there just in case and yeah, that's it. Let's put everything back. And this is what I'm bringing with me on this four-day trip. Again, we're going somewhere where it's it's still in Canada. It's in British Columbia. It's called the Fairmont Hot Springs, and it's extremely hot during the week we're going to go. So I think that this is perfect for four days. I don't think I'm going to use this much makeup, but I'd rather have it than not have it. I'm probably going to use the cream products more and look more natural than any powders, but I need all this, my creams and my deodorant, my brush, all of this facial stuff. Not very complicated, but this is all I need for four days less is more so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this packing of me and thank you for keeping me company so this is my luggage and here i have sunscreens here i have medical supplies for children and us just in case here is the package that we just packed with the sunscreen i mean not the sunscreen the skincare and then here i just have my birkenstocks i got this from vegas they are the best i recommend this this i love birkenstock and i love that they came out with this um this is good for water like they're waterproof the material so it doesn't have any wood but they're by birkenstock they're very very light i love this yellow and yeah here are all my undergarments and socks i have my shorts and t-shirts and here i have my pajama and all i have to pack is my um makeup bag that uh, we just packed together so yeah this is what my luggage looks like for four days which is just a carry-on and um that's it and my bathing suits in here too i have my two bathing suits in here so i'm pretty much packed and um ready to go i hope you guys enjoyed it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this packing with me. I love to bring you along and keep me company and showing you what I like to pack for my trips and different type of trips that we're taking. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It means so much to me. And I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.